Hello one and all, it's I, Vegeta FH1. Today we're talking about evolution and a semi kind of rant that people have started me on on YouTube with the discussion of gays, lesbians and their marriages and people commenting on my comment on Blunty 3000's video. The people who have tried to explain their sides of it have been hypocrites. Okay? Evolution is the growth of an organism. Or maybe not even an organism. Something... Okay, we'll take trees for example. Now, trees are very diverse in their appearances. They can shape themselves or, well, not shape themselves, but they can appear to be misshaped in several different ways, such as trees grow towards the sun. I mean, come on, we all fucking know that. So, of course, with the rotation of the world and the rotation of the world around the sun, it's, of course, going to create diverse appearances or changes. Now, people may, may not see this as evolution, but it kind of is, in a very small way. Because the way we see evolution, or at least the way the common people see evolution, is that evolution would be the change of something big into something bigger. Like, for example, if a human being grew wings, or a tail, or something far-fetched like that. That would be their kind of definition of what evolution is. But it's not that big. It's the smallest of things. The wide variety of changes in a human being, and not just a human being, but animals as well. It's very... Uh, how should I put this? It's very wide in interpretation because everybody's view on evolution is slightly different than everybody else's. But the way I see evolution is it can take place from the smallest part of you or anything else to the largest part of you or anything else. Such as gays and lesbians. Uh, this kind of comes back into the gays and lesbians subject that Bloody 3000 is talking about. Um, because of Y chromosomes, or or is it Z or X chromosomes, I can't feckin' remember the chemistry of it. But, essentially, evolution is dictating, or well, n not really dictating, but has slightly changed this human being because of the DNA of their mother and father, or past experiences between the mother and father and so, so on and so forth the person is then inherited in, inherited? yeah I suppose okay that works of their own DNA which is slightly changed so it's kind of evolved past its normal uh, normal standings if you want to put it like that but when you have people who are so close-minded as to give an example of evolution in just one human being and say it's the same for everybody else is totally an utter bollocks. There is no, f there is no other way of putting it. It is total utter bollocks. Totally fucking bollocks. Okay, we have Glopy2 who says, can you not talk about evolution? You clearly don't understand it, so it's best you don't use it as a talking point. Okay, well, your comment can be shoved up your own fucking hole, because you're clearly looking down on me on my own views. So, your comment is kind of invalid, considering it doesn't really contribute to why I'm so wrong in this talking point. So, goodbye to you. Then we've got Torek, 
who says, Evolution is a destructive theory and serves no benefit to huma humanity. Okay, okay, so it serves no benefit to humanity. Okay, so knowing our past is no benefit to humanity. Um, knowing where we came from, how we came to be, or why we're stuck on this planet to begin with, is no benefit to humanity, is it? Right. Uh -huh. Then he goes on to say a German philosopher who died in an insane asylum, apparently, and he throws this in with kids being on antidepressants. Uh, sorry, that just makes absolutely no sense to me. None whatsoever. Don't buy into evolution theory, he says, and continues on by saying, think for yourself and make up your own mind about the evidence. The evidence is the human race. There's so many variants of human beings on this planet that there is the number of populate or the population of the planet. We are all different. Yes, granted, we're all human beings. But we're all, every single one of us are different. That is evolution. We all think in different ways. We all look different. We all act different in various ways. We all have our ways of coming to a conclusion. Let's just put it that way. I mean, not even taking into consideration whites, blacks, browns, reds, yellows, greens, fucking purples, whatever. Taking that out. All of us are tuned into our own ways of thinking. Because of this, and because of our past experiences, because of the DNA that runs through our veins, we are all different. Now, that's not to say that things like incest and shit. I, I'm gonna kind of throw this in here because it, it, it's kind of odd. Evolution has a very strange way of acting. When you don't fight against evolution, it lets you be. But when you fight against it, in terms of reproduction, anyway, uh, like uh, incest, it'll fuck you over. We all get the idea that if you have a child with the same blood, uh, the same, uh, what's the way of putting it, with the same kind of person that has your blood type, or not blood type, but has your blood. Incest. I'll just <laughs> now I've kind of gone, gone off course. If you have a child in the way of an incest, then evolution is going to fuck you over. We all fucking know that. The baby will be born with mental ins instability. I, I don't know if that's the right way of putting it. But... It's like the baby will be born with a, de a, a deformity. Deformity? Yeah, fuck it. If you have a baby with someone that is so far different, like the reverse of incest, then evolution won't fuck you over so badly. Which is very interesting when you put it back into context within the natural world and beasts or animals and stuff like that because in the world of or li at least in the animal kingdom from what we know if a baby of an animal is born with a deformity the parents will neglect it completely and utterly this I can't understand why but I'm going to put it down to simply the baby being deformed. And last I checked, 
human race had gone a bit far beyond being animals. But yet we still are. I mean, come on, the human race is testament to that. We are human beings. We evolve in ways that we don't even understand. Small ways, but not always small. So I think I'll leave it there because it's a very wide open subject and it's no it's not really a theory. I mean, how the fuck did we get here? Can you answer it? Because I can't. I can only put it down to evolution. So, that's it. See you.